Wild Time Cooking with Allison Davis is brought to you by Corman Kitchen and Bath. Welcome back to Midday Kentucky. Chef Allison Davis here in the Wild Time Kitchen. And we hope you guys are having a great afternoon. It's Wellness Wednesday, and we are with April May Health, April Dutille, and we are making sweet, sweet corn chickpea chowder. Sweet chickpea sweet chowder. Chickpea and chowder. I was saying it smells like chicken noodle soup. We've got one that's already ready here, and I just yes. want to dive in because I've actually not been feeling that well, and it just smells like chicken comfort noodle soup food. yeah it smells That's like that right. comfort food so yeah. tell us about this dish you love sh showing recipes um, with the instapot you love showing just easy convenient ways to you know make these vegan plant-based you know d dishes yeah, yeah. you got to make things faster you're going to be in the drive through I mean that's just real life that's what I'm going to do it's what you're going to do so but the foundation of this recipe is this wonderful product from wellness form health you can go to aprilmayhealth.com to find out how to order it but it's called not chicken chicken broth it tastes like chicken broth but it has no chicken in it so that's that's the main ingredient the secret in the great ingredient in this uh, wonderful dish and this is a go-to for my family one of the reasons that i love the instapot is because you can take dried beans and never soak them just go straight into the instant pot and have them on the table in just a matter of some beans 25 30 minutes but the chickpeas are going to take a little longer because they're a firmer bean so I am going to use three cups of beans. Now when you're doing dried beans, you want to do a one to three ratio. For every one cup of dried beans, three cups of liquid. We've got nine cups of liquid here, and I had already put in two you cups of beans. You could go with vegetable broth if you wanted. You could, Yeah. you could. But this, uh, this chicken broth is going to be the real thing that's going to make it taste Yeah, I was looking at the fabulous. ingredients and it's really great. And um, Dehydrated vegetables, nutritional yeast, celery, onion powder, garlic powder, sage, and thyme. So all of those spices, you know, definitely are going to bring that, you know, right. almost like homemade stuffing flavor. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's good. Well, this is going to be added at the end. We're going to get these beans cooking. And so I seal this sucker up, and I put it on the manual setting. Now, it depends on how soft you like your beans. I'm going to go about 50 minutes. I like mine a little softer. Okay. And then at the end of the 50 minutes, the Instant Pot will, will chime at you, and you can release the pressure manually. Okay. okay. Now, once it's done and you've released the pressure, you're going to take this lid back off and you're going to then turn off from the manual setting and you're going to put it on soup broth setting. Okay. That will just start to boil it and you're going to have it boiling open. Obviously, it's already hot, so getting it okay. to boiling is real quick. Then you're going to add the carrots. Okay. The carrots, I've got probably, we said, four to five cups. And that's where the sweetness comes from. If, you, right. if you're not aware, carrots are naturally, have a natural sugar a in them. A lot of sweetness too. Yeah, it. and they can really, like, uh, when I make, like, a homemade bolognese sauce or something, I'll use carrots. Yes. It's very authentic to throw carrots in instead of sugar because they do add such a natural yes. sweetness to things. So. And you get all the benefits of carrots. Exactly. So, <laughs> better than sugar. So, I'll dump this entire package in here, I will put all these carrots in and then I'll let it continue to cook. And then I've got four tablespoons of cornstarch. You can mix it with a little bit of water so that you don't risk getting kind of lumpy in there. Mm -hmm. And then you'll dump that in. Let it cook. When you put it on the soup broth setting, it's going to run for 30 minutes. Okay. But if you, if you like your carrots a little firmer, check them. You might cut it off at the 15 minute mark. Remember, the chickpeas are already cooked and soft. You're just getting all these flavors mixed in together mm -hmm. now. So yeah, I usually let it go just, full 30. The cornstarch just serves as a thickener to kind of give you more of that chowder Chowdery consistency. Thickness. That's mm -hmm. right. That's exactly and so right. So you have some here that's prepared, and you serve that over. You said you like it over white rice or brown rice. That's right. Um, and that just adds to the just, fullness yeah, and, the and just sense the balance of, of the meal. Mm -hmm. The um, the comfort foods. You know, your comfort foods are your starches and things like that. So anytime you're adding the white rices, the brown rices, normally I prefer brown rice overall, mm -hmm. but this my family and I both prefer the white rice. It's just a preference with this particular dish. So okay. do it, enjoy it, you'll feel fulfilled, you'll get tons of nutrients, lots of fiber. Mm -hmm. So it's it's a win-win all the way. Quick and easy to make, the family loves it. Now I don't usually use salt, so just salt the surface of it and uh, enjoy. Fantastic. 
All right, guys, you know where to find this recipe. You can go to MiddayKentucky.com forward slash recipes tab. You can also go to AprilMayHealth.com. Is that right? Yes, that's right. Um, to Reach find out, out to more about uh, purchasing this uh, powder or this not chicken, chicken, chicken broth. broth. That's right. Just uh, email me and I'll send you the information. Fantastic. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll be right back after this short break.